Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is the string trim and trim trailing nodes? Let's jump right into it. This should be a fairly short video. Basically, the trim and trim trailing nodes remove white space from either the front using the trim node or the end if you're using the trim trailing node. Let's see this in an example. When I run my example, you can see this is a long string of text. I also have a border behind it in white, so you can see I have spaces in front of it as well as behind it. Now, if we go ahead and stop this, let's plug in the trim node and run it again. You'll notice we now no longer have any spaces on the front. And if we plug in the trim trailing, you should hopefully know what's going to happen. We hit play. And now we no longer have spaces at the end of our string. And that's it. That's all our trim is for. It's to remove extra spaces. For example, let's say you allow a character to input their name or some other type of input. For sanity reasons, you may want to remove strings. No, sorry, you may want to remove spaces from the beginning or the end, but you may want to allow them to actually have two names or three names, maybe a first name and a surname. So you don't want to just go in and remove all of the spaces. You just want to tidy it up and remove the ones in the front and the back. And that's it. This is our trim and trim trailing nodes. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below.